This is IEN, made in America. Speedy makes machinery that fills packages. With operations based out of Racine, Wisconsin, Speedy machines fill the coffee cups used in single-serve coffee brewers, the powdered creamer that you put in that coffee, and even that box of cereal you had for breakfast. Bags, bottles, cans, and pouches, if it carries a dry product, there's a good chance that a Speedy machine filled it. Speedy is very specific. We manufacture packaging equipment. It's filling machines that is used in the dry food industry. So we are filling things from jello to cake mix to coffee, items like that, things you find on your grocery store shelf. Speedy is a family business. Mark Navin is the strategic account manager at Speedy, but he's also one of three brothers who now run the company that their father started. Correct, yeah, there's three brothers. Uh, I'm the youngest. Um, I have another brother, David, who's the president, and the middle brother, Paul, runs our manufacturing operation. Speedy's been, as a product line, uh, manufacturing since uh, 1946, and in its current version as a company, a separate company, it's been since 1980 uh, when my father uh, purchased the business. So uh, it's been a long uh, tradition uh, to be uh, United States and, and American made, and uh, we're really proud of it. Speedy has always had its headquarters in or around Racine, Wisconsin. They're actually on their fourth plant. The last plant was a 10,000 square foot storefront that they quickly outgrew. Now, they're filling a 48,000 square foot facility. I never thought we'd fill it when we moved in eight years ago, but we were managing to do that. The company does most of its manufacturing in-house, but when they do need to bring in a little help, they keep it local. And uh, when we do outsource it to other American companies, we have not uh, offshored anything. And we plan on keeping it that way. We're really proud of it. The company is strategically located in southeastern Wisconsin. Between Illinois and Wisconsin, there are more than 100 packaging, bagging, and machine companies in the industry. And why? Because that's where the wheat is. Most of our companies are Fortune 500 food companies headquartered here in the U.S., many of them in the Midwest. So our basic customer base is, is located here. It is by far the largest market in the world for packaged goods. Well, one of the things that there's a big packaging um, contingent in the Midwest because of the, the raw materials, are, the wheat. So you get your Quakers and Ralstons and General Mills and all the people doing wheat products at plants here. There's a lot of food production in the Midwest, right? We do have clients around the United States and actually around the world, but it is true the Midwest has very good growing conditions and a really good food supply, and therefore that's why a lot of food processing happens in the Midwest. Speedy's filling machines are considered top of the line in terms of quality. By keeping the design, engineering, and manufacturing in-house, they keep quality tight and lead times low. Being able to check on things, uh, machined parts and things, uh, or even welded parts, uh, as they're being made, uh, rather than getting a finished product in to check, uh, I think really impacts the quality as well. The one thing that does impact the company is the job market. We require skilled machinists and welders, and we're competing against some pretty big people here that make it difficult for a small company to find. However, it seems like once we find them, we keep them. Many of our employees are long, long term. However, the engineering department hasn't had much trouble fighting the skills shortage, but that's because Tony Stefanelli, the vice president of business development, goes about hiring a little different than other companies. For me, it has not been very hard to find skilled, you know, to find skilled engineers. And actually, our hiring process is quite different than most companies, right? Most companies are looking for people with skills. I don't look for that. I look for people with talent. You can teach skills. You can't teach talent. What are the people naturally gifted at? What are their natural interests? What are their natural gifts? Does it look like they could easily understand how our machines work and what our customers are looking for? That's what we interview for, right? Because we can teach somebody how to use our software. We can teach somebody how our machines work and how we like to make our parts. What we can't teach them how to do is think. The, the art of engineering is asking the right question. He's not even opposed to bringing in millennials. As a matter of fact, he prefers them. I've had nothing but great experience with the millennials. Uh, to tell you the truth, the, the, uh, the folks coming out of college in the last 10 years are far better prepared to do engineering than my generation was. And I tend to hire a lot of young people because I do see how strong they are and how hard they work at, at learning. It may seem that creating machines like a rotary auger that fills powdered products into rigid containers can get dull at times. 
but the work has provided its share of unique applications. Oh goodness, uh, we do a lot of different things. Uh, anything from putting uh, cereal into a, a bag that ends up in a box and then on your breakfast table, to uh, putting, um, oh, let's see, coffee into uh, single serve containers uh, or, or large coffee cans, uh, infant formula, uh, putting powdered infant formula into cans. And some of the things that are always uh, impressive to me at the rates uh, are the rates that we can hit nowadays. We're not just making a machine, we're actually solving the problem for the customer. Some of these machines are filling 300 bottles and canisters per minute, and it's quite the sight to see. And now, clients are becoming more reliant on Speedy's engineering prowess. But it didn't always work like that. They used to just bid a job. Things have changed. More and more as uh, end user and customer engineering capability or even the size of their engineering groups as it's starting to dwindle, we're being brought in more and more and people are relying on our expertise and our engineering capabilities and drawing capabilities to, uh, to further the project. Uptime is particularly important for Speedy's customers. If a machine goes down, the losses can skyrocket quickly. Because if one of these lines is packing off, you know, 60 boxes a minute goes down, they've lost in an hour yeah. what the machine cost. Uptime is, is what it's all about. When things do go wrong, it's most often with making changes to an existing line. You know, products that have been in the field for a while are relocating a packaging line. Going forward, Speedy plans to remain committed to manufacturing in the United States. It's been uh, moderate and steady growth uh, for the last 23 years that I've been here yeah. and since the, the early 80s, since my father uh, got into the business. And so I see that continuing. So just for quick turnaround's sake, quick communication's sake, we need to, we need to keep it local industry, the packaging industry itself, uh, more and more people want customization. You know, they want their name on the bottle, they want their, uh, to be able to dictate what goes into the package. So that's where I see the customization of equipment really playing a key role in satisfying those requests. There is a greater sense of pride for working with the company that your father founded, but it's not without the pressure to succeed and continue to grow. There, there definitely is more pressure that way. Um, it's a blessing and a curse. Uh, I feel really fortunate to be in the position I am, but it, it is hard to get away from. You know, vacations aren't always vacations because uh, right. <laughs> you can pass the buck so long and it's got to stop somewhere. So that usually happens with my brothers and I. But there is a tremendous amount of pride that goes along with it. Um, having been part of, of manufacturing something uh, and seeing it on the store shelf or seeing uh, a line chip out the door or get installed into a customer's plant, uh, it, it, there's a tremendous amount of pride that goes along with that. And I think that's one of the, the most fun parts about the job, is uh, seeing something go from an idea to uh, a manufacturing line and uh, seeing customers purchase those products off the shelf is really, uh, really gratifying. The markets may turn, but the company is confident that Speedy will be in business for the long haul. I'm feeling good because we have a solid customer base, we have a solid reputation. People are always going to eat and companies are always going to be trying to make the next great thing. And what sets America apart from the rest of the world is we do a better job with our young people when they're in school of learning the risk-reward ratio through sports, through music, through art, okay? Um, as well as just the three R's, our students learn how to manage risk and reward, right? When's the right time to push to a new technology and how hard do you push versus do something that's a little more, a little bit more traditional as the right solution for whatever problem you happen to be trying to solve. And um, other countries either take a, a leap too far or they're too shy about taking a leap. So they don't innovate. America's the best innovator only because we're the best at doing risk management. That's what really sets us apart. This is IEN, made in America.